Hi everybody, Miss Jess here again. I'm back with actually a favorite book of Mr. Nick. If you guys remember who Mr. Nick is, he is the dad in my house. So this was a book from when he was a kid that he loved and it's a rhyming book. And I'm sure you remember we were doing a lot of work on rhymes um, what, the last time we were in school. So this is called, There Are Rocks In My Socks, said the ox to the fox. It's kind of tricky. See if you can pick out the rhymes. In the title, rocks and socks rhyme, and ox and fox too. So there's lots of rhymes in this book. So here we go, ready? Okay. There are rocks in my socks, said the ox to the fox. Bumpy old, lumpy old, clumpy old rocks. Pinchy and squishy whenever one walks. I feel very grumpy with rocks in my socks. You see the rocks? That would make me grumpy too. See here, my dear steer, said the fox to the ox. Why don't you stop grumping and take out the rocks? I must say I've noticed the longer one walks, the less time one has for taking out rocks. But sir, there's no way, said the ox to the fox, to get rid of these rocks that are inside of my socks. With my shoes underneath and my feet firmly on top, I see no way at all of removing the rocks. Hmm. Let me think, said the fox to the ox with a wink. There must be a way to get rocks out of socks. Eureka, I have it. Just do a flip-flop. Put your legs in the air so your feet aren't on top of the rocks, which will then slide right out of your socks. It's a good thing I'm clever, said the fox to the ox. Yes, indeed, you are clever, said the ox to the fox. If I do a flip-flop so my feet aren't on top, then the rocks will come tumbling right out of my socks. Flip, zip, flop, plop. Let's see if it worked. <gasps> Look at right here. It says those rocks are still there. Oh no. There's a tack in my back, said the ox to the fox. A prickly old, tickly old, stickly old tack. I really don't need this particular tack. If I found it was missing, I not, I'd not wish it back. Furthermore, these rocks haven't budged from my socks, said the ox to the fox. Oh boy, what a predicament. Said the fox to the ox, there's no need to sigh. I'll have it all solved in the blink of an eye. Quick, flick your tail beneath your back and you'll knock aside quickly that prickly old tack. You're lucky I'm here, said the fox to the ox. Yes, you're a great help, said the ox to the fox. With a swish of my tail, I'll give that old tack a good whack and it'll knock it from under my back. Swish, swish, wump, thump. Hmm, what happened now? Oh boy. There's a rail on my tail, said the ox to the fox. You see that picture? It's black and white. A naughty old, cloddy old, rotty old rail. I'm sure if this rail were placed on a scale, the whole thing would weigh just as much as a whale. I venture to state that in time one would hate the very great weight of a rail on one's tail, not to mention the tack that's still on my back and all of the rocks that are still in my socks, said the ox to the fox. Oh boy, this poor ox. There, there, don't despair, said the fox to the ox, for it's true, don't you see? I'm sure you'll agree. You've no more to fear as long as you've me. Your troubles are over, I swear it true. For what else could possibly happen to you? Uh-oh. Bzzz, flit, slit. What's that? Looks like a bumblebee to me. Said the ox to the fox, thank you, my friend. For your faith that my troubles will come to an end, perhaps you are right to make light of my plight, but it seems that the end is not quite in sight. For here I remain with rocks in my socks and a tack in my back and a rail on my tail. 
And if that's not enough, I believe a large bee has decided to stop and rest on my knee. That makes me uneasy, in fact, somewhat queasy, for a large bee is a thing with a very large sting. It's right here. It's in black and white. Said the fox to the ox, yes, it does seem to me you'd be much better off without that large bee. However, because I'm so clever, I instantly see a way to remove that large bee from your knee. Just be quick, kick your toes, <laughs> sorry, in the air towards your nose, which will shake your knee free of that unwelcome bee. Of course, said the ox. How stupid of me. It's remarkably easy to shake off a bee. Flick, kick, zap, whap. Let's see what happens. Said the ox to the fox, you've observed, I suppose, that I have kicked myself hard in the nose. Ouch. Meanwhile, the large bee, not choosing to flee, has been startled instead into stinging my knee, which I confess is quite unpleasant for me. What's more, these rocks still stuck in my socks and the tack in my back and the rail on my tail, I do believe it's fair to state my situation is less than great. Skippity, hippity, hop, stop. There's the bee that stung his knee. Boy, it just keeps getting more complicated. My word, said the bird. Let's see if you can see this picture better if I do this. My word, said the bird, my eyes must be blurred. I've never seen anything quite so absurd. A big grown-up ox with his back on a tack and a rail on his tail and a bee on his knee gives his own nose a whack. Please don't go, Mr. Fox. As for you, Mr. Ox, would you care to relate how you got in this state? There's the bird right there. It's a rather long story, said the ox to the bird. It's hard to explain everything that's occurred. I believe it began with my friend here, the fox, who's an expert at getting rocks out of one's socks. Do you think that fox is an expert? I'm not so sure, said the bird to the ox. I really must say, you're going about it in a very strange way. Why not simply roll over, lift your back off that tack, then just slide your tail out from under the rail and straighten your knee, so which so obviously will set the bee free. So, mumble, tumble, roll, Bless my soul, said the ox. Now take off your shoes and take off your socks. Try wiggling your toes, then dump out the rocks. Next, put back each sock and put back each shoe, which is all, Mr. Ox, that you need to do. Is it true what I've heard, said the ox to the bird? All I need to do to get rid of these rocks is to take off my shoes and empty my socks? Well, of course, said the bird. Jiggle, wiggle, bump, 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 thump, wump, lump. Look at that, the rocks are coming out. Onto whose head? Mr. Fox. I believe, said the ox, it might well be said that my friend the fox has rocks on his head. <laughs> the end. I don't think the fox was that smart. I definitely think it was the bird, huh? And if you look right here, can you see the date right there? It says 5-24-1983. So this is a very old book. Well, I hope you enjoyed this book. I hope you have a great day. Bye, everybody.